Today he reports uh, that the Taliban is on the outskirts of Kabul, the capital. Just yesterday, American intelligence was reassuring us that the Taliban would not take Kabul for 30 to 90 days. They were nowhere near. Just a few months ago, and this, is, this should be an impeachable offense or, or, of, of, well, you don't impeach a general. This should be a firing offense. The general in charge of the U.S. Army, General Miley, who has lots of problems, but among the many problems, maybe you should stop focusing on, on the teaching of, of critical race theory at West Point and start focusing on actually military stuff, like intelligence. General Miley, just a few months ago, reasserted his confidence that the Afghan military trained by the United States at a cost of tens and tens and tens, maybe hundreds of billions of dollars, was more than capable of standing its own against the Taliban. This is the top general in the United States getting it completely wrong. Shocking, right? And of course, they've been doing this for 20 years. 20 years they've been lying to us. 20 years they have had no clue what they're doing. 20 years they've been distorting, perverting, putting the lives of American troops at risk. 20 years they've been seeing American young kids killed and dying on the battlefield. For 20 years, they've been pouring hundreds of billions of dollars into the military of Afghanistan, all arms that are going to fall into the Taliban's hands, right? Into the military of Iraq and insurgent groups in Syria, all groups that have turned their backs on the United States of America. For 20 years, they pretended that they're making America safer, yeah, there haven't been any major terrorist attacks in the United States since then. I'll give them that. At what cost? What price? And how many lies? How many distortions? How many perversions? Yes, we're finally leaving Afghanistan. Good riddance. But we're leaving as a defeated superpower. We're leaving with the tail between our legs. We're leaving and at the same time emboldening our biggest enemy in the world today, the one that is committed to killing Americans. Uh, maybe it's only in small scale, but to killing Americans. Committed ultimately to the destruction of the West and the United States. And they've discovered eh, where they knew this already. They have nothing to fear from us because we are nothing but a paper tiger. And I've been saying we're a paper tiger since before 9-11 and suddenly post 9-11, when everybody thought George Bush was too tough, a wimp, and the presidents following him have been even greater wimps. What a disaster Afghanistan is. I can't even imagine what the parents of soldiers that have, or, and spouses and children of the soldiers who have died in Afghanistan, for what? For nothing, so that the Taliban could retake it so that our worst enemies could be based there, so that Al-Qaeda could re recreate their training camps. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, 
please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to hundred. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this, uh, and, and you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.